And yeah, basically meleeing in the game, I'd say it's pretty cool because basically you, it's instead of just knifing them, you grab them and you kill them. But the problem about it is that it's slow. So if someone kills you while you're meleeing the enemy, you, you can you can basically stop him from killing your buddy. But uh, I like it. The only, at least the only the other place you see this Assassin's Creed and Halo. I think they're probably. I bet you they're gonna put it like mixed cart or something. I don't know. And they have it in a uh, crisis too. I think only if you're only if you're cloaked. See right here. I'm just like, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, you had to run away. Oh, this is the montage. I kill you and ah, oh, I I just got stuck by C4 right there, which is basically uh, your proximity mine. Yeah, I basically got stuck by a proximity mine, which acts like a uh, semtex, and then <laughs> I just died from that. But and at least I got a nice revive and nice kill from that. I like that. <laughs> and now I'm just circling nades in the same spot because I think I'll get kills that. I actually do get more kills that later on because they keep falling for that same trick. <laughs> I don't know why, but not for now. See right there, we just just stay in the same spot. Spawn can't be done. Oh, oh, oh! See right there. I was gonna get melee by the medic. My friend me uh, meleeed him at the same time, so he died. Oh, right there. Oh, he shot a nuke to the wall, which killed. I think it killed me. Yeah, it killed me definitely. Oh, it actually doesn't. It, you can actually revive yourself if you killed by nuke too. Oh, see right here. Watch this. This is the montage. I get one. I get two. And I'm gonna get three. It's, it's late three. Watch this. He jumps down from my. I don't know if he jumps out the with my grenade. And I get you before you before you kill me. Unfortunately, I revived myself already. <laughs> but that was a nice one. I actually love doing that. Oh, see right there. You melee five guys. You get increased accuracy, which is good for a hit headfire. Now throw an AR because no, there's a guy there. At least I see two guys. Oh, and I get an assist. I decided to use my like silenced SMG. Uh, no wait, my bad. It's a silenced machine pistol with a scope. <laughs> but this this is why it's in the third unlock. Oh, right here. So basically, I kill one guy and I try to kill him, but there was another guy there. He kills me. So basically, how it works in Killzone is that every time you level, you get like two skill points, and you can spend uh, skill points to unlock weapons for your class. Like you only have six weapons specifically per class, which you can use as a loadout. But it makes it balanced because, like, you don't want, uh, you don't want a medic running around with a one-hit sniper rifle, which only be for like snipers. Oh, and now we're doing assassination. Oh, get okay, double kill. Now that's in the montage. A double, double kill of the nade, and I get a triple kill in total because it spray last guy. Oh, yeah. I think it's when you revive him, you just turn around and revive him right away. And so yeah, I'm just trying to get in the same spot to get more kills. Oh, you see those things right there? Those things are drones. They're probably the most OP uh, sentry drones. Only summoned by tacticians. So basically, you throw out a beacon, like a grenade or something, and then those drones will come in and follow the beacon wherever it goes. They basically stay around a specific area. They don't do much. And right there, that was a sentry bot placed by an engineer. Oh, that's my friend right there. I revived him. And yeah, basically, they're like, uh, if you ever play Team Fortress, they're basically like sentries from Team Fortress. Now this is in the montage, watch this. Yeah, a lot of people complain about that because it's basically you lagging and kill them. You're like, what the hell? And two guys, oh, kill one, and I kill another one. Yeah, <laughs> that's all for it, but still, I like that. I saw a guy with my grenade, like, my grenade cost across it from red. I try to kill that guy. Apparently my friends get him first. Because my team is just so good, and these guys aren't so good. Now try to get this guy. Oh, I get him at the last moment headshots. I keep getting people at the last moment with like headshots and that stuff. And I'm pretty. I don't know why. I'm quite lucky. But see right here, I'm trying to revive this guy. This guy doesn't shoot my body. He's really smart. But unfortunately, I can't find him. He dies before he I can pick him off. Oh well. I, since I revived myself, I get all this nice ammo and stuff. I don't even need an ammo crate. I don't need ammo crates. I always do revive myself. Yeah, now it's capture and hold, which is basically... Oh, watch this. Watch this. Triple kill. I love that. <laughs> triple, triple, triple nade. I can't believe it's still. And after that, it's nothing much here. We're just... I'm just trying to get a kill here, but since there's like four buddies in the room, I can't even get a single kill. And this is right beside the spawn, too. This is So this is quite fail. Anyways, sorry, I keep getting interrupted. I keep interrupting myself. But like I was saying, this is capture and hold, so basically... Uh, domination from Modern Warfare 2. Like that. Oh, if people keep dying. Oh, wait there. That guy 
who shot the RPG, he got a quad RPG. I'm just amazed. Like, I tried using an RPG against bots. It's so hard to use. And to get a quad RPG, that's like godly. Whoever got a quad, R quad RPG in that game, you know, you're on YouTube, dude. You're famous now. I got my triple name. So yeah, let me get more ammo right there. Now basically, I'm just trying to hold the area. Like, you have to hold the area to win. I just, wanna, I just want to finish this thing as fast as possible. So I'm just going to keep camping there. And that's the thing right there. We're just trying to go around. Because I know we're going to keep coming there, so we might as well go around. I've got like five people here. I'm just amazed. We've got so many people here. Just trying to spawn camp it. Right there, get one kill. Oh, that's my bot. See, when if you get a bot kill, that's pretty good. Because bots, you can't control what they fire at. Like, if they get... Then they're quite weak on their own. Like, even if a guy doesn't notice the bot, the bot won't kill him. But if you can get a bot kill, that's pretty good. Because, you know, I like getting those medals. Oh, that's a fail nade right there. <laughs> I fall off the edge and hit... I nearly hit myself. Yeah, sorry. I keep interrupting myself. But good thing my friends were there to help me, even though I can handle it myself. I'm my friend's teammates. Now it's assassination. See, it's the name is red, so basically I have to assassinate the guy on our team. Not trying to kill this guy. Uh, this is the one. Ah, that poor engineer. I think it's the same guy. I feel sorry for him. <laughs> I killed him twice. And over here, I think we can get like a double kill and a single kill. Yeah, three kills. Right here. So see, I, I see like so many guys here. Just spray one guy, double kill. And I'll switch my weapon because I don't have to reload. That's my friend up ahead, so I try to spray him down. And I think that's about it. Yep, that's about it. Because that guy runs up and just submachine guns us. But then I hear my friend, he has to go on the phone, and I'm like, okay, fine, I won't revive you, buddy. See, normally a blind medic won't revive the guy, but I'm like, okay, fine, I won't revive you. Because he has to be on the phone. <laughs> and you and in games where you have medics, you hate it when you're like, don't revive me, don't revive me, and your friend still revives you. You'd be like, no, why don't you revive me? <laughs> yeah, like all medics do. It's a tactical which I call meat shield. And if you're getting revived, you don't want to be the meat shield. Oh. And look at my points. I get <laughs> over 10,000 points. Let's say if you get 10,000 points, over 10,000 points with the bonuses in Killzone, you're pretty good. Like, you had a pretty good game. Like, you, you, no, you're not pretty good. You had a pretty good game. But I usually average over 8,000 points. And actually, 8,000 points is my average. Sometimes I get 5,000 if, if I'm pretty bad. Oh, and I'm third too. See, people on our team, I don't know if you can see this well. The max I got is 5,000. Our fourth guy got better than that. So, that's the game, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to do some more kills on 3 commentaries, just leave a comment and tell me to do that. Or if you want, to, or if you want me to do some more Battlefield commentaries, then just tell me. So, thanks for watching. Hope to s hope you guys watch my montage, which is pretty epic later tonight.